each life that we sell, each breath and each beat of your heart is a beat of the drum. Give me a drink in my cup and friends who will share it, song on my lips and ears that'll hear it, fire in my eyes to light all the good people I see. Nowhere that I'd rather be Before ten in the morning We're barely alive We're like ghosts, we're like spirits And then coffee arrives Then heroes awaken and stand by your side Now gather your courage And sing out your pride But the storm will not break us Although it may try The sun may beat down And may bathe the world dry But we stand by our neighbours And raise them up tall Gather your voices and scream out the call For you are my empire and you are my hall For you I would fight and for you I would fall For you are the beat of my heart and the heart of my song Give me a drink in my cup and friends who will share it Song on my lips and ears that'll hear it Fire in my eyes to light all the good people I see Tell you, my friends, there's nowhere that I'd rather be. So fill up your tankards and fill up your lungs. Leave no words unspoken and no song unsung. Make noise for your heroes, your kith and your kin. Sing out their names and the pride that they bring. Together we stand and divided we fall. And the future we write will be shaped by us all. For we are the singers, and we are the song of a story that's greater than more. Sing along. Give me a drink in my cup, and friends who will share it. Song on my lips, and ears that'll hear it. Fire in my eyes to light all the good people I see. I tell you, my friends, there's nowhere that I'd rather be. Yeah, my audio looks like it's fine now. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream. We're here. We're doing stuff. We're going to chat. Um, we have got the wonderful Artemis with us. And we're going to chat um, um, apothepotions. You see what I did? It's amazing. Um, we're going to had a bit of a thing. So chat's really small in the middle of the screen now. We've still got, oh no, it's the other side. We've got the the bits jar thing there still as well. Um, and everything. So yeah, we're going to have a wonderful, wonderful time. A um, little bit of an update on things. Um, the female presenting armor. Holy shit, what a amazing thing. That's really picked up and that's amazing. And I love you all for it. Um that's going to be an awesome project that we'll get out in April, but we'll keep you all posted on that. The positivity that's come from that has been immense, and I really can't wait to see what all the makers come up with. Um, it's going to be so cool. Uh, Liam, 11 months, you crazy person. That's like 25 quid, mate. That's, that's how, do you know how many pints that is? Speaking of pints, we have the bear in Covent Garden at the moment, in a bar. Hopefully, it's a bar that survived the football. <clears throat> That's all we're going to talk about when it comes to football. That's so difficult not to talk about everything else when it comes to football. <laughs> didn't watch it. Uh, no, I didn't either. I, I I didn't allow myself to. I I think the media destroyed it all for me. Um, no, I'm I'm a bad luck charm for football. Uh, well, my team, my my club team is bad luck for most people. So it's because I'm a Portsmouth fan, and um, hence the when someone joins the thingy up over there, ooh, there, uh, actually hidden behind. Artemis' name. I'll move that. Um, 
That's why we got the uh, the, the Pompey fans as a gif <laughs> when someone subs and stuff. But thank you, Liam, anyway. So, yeah. So, um... I know I was going to do this last week. I meant to do do it last week, but I'm going to get the raffle sorted um, tomorrow. We'll get pictures up and we can start that going. And that's going to be one of the big things that we need to talk about. Something that we're going to get from Matt P. Because he does nothing but give bad news out for the last year and a half. So we need to do something to cheer that bloke up. And show him how much we love him. He's alright, I guess, sometimes. <laughs> So it's going to nod. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, so that's that's the plan anyway. And But I will get all of this stuff put up. Uh, Max is four months. See, there we go. Look, oh, I keep getting this wrong. Pompey fans. My Pompey Yay. fans. Yay. Love my boys. Um, so, yeah. I do apologise if you can hear any rain or anything like that. We've got a storm going on outside here right now. We have had thunder and lightning and everything as well. So, yeah, it's good. And I will apologise if you hear a very loud meow. I have a very young kitten who has learnt how to speak. You've got a leopard. I have a small leopard, you yeah. You have a small leopard. Yeah. It's not really small. a small leopard, for those wondering, but it is, it is there. So, She's not even a year old, and she's about the size of a house cat or... A big mm. house cat already, yes. uh, with another year of growth to go. Mm. Oh, we've got a hype train going as well. Ninety four percent. Isn't the Twitch rule that if you mention an animal, you have to show the animal? Wow. I would, but she doesn't come on demand, unfortunately. No, no. Uh, you've already been past uh, the leopard once, and she's already just immediately walked away. <laughs> so, but still. So, Artemis, so we're here there to chat. Oh, Choco, oh, the greatest name that we have, Choco Moco Latte. That's amazing. Um, I love gift, it. Gifted this up as well to John. So that's awesome. Thank you so much for doing that. Uh, yeah, 94%. Uh, let's see if we can get a hype train going. So, yeah, bits and subs. If you've got Amazon Prime, do the thing. Uh, yeah, so we've talked before. You're on the you're on the first one that we did. Um, that went on for uh, hour and forty minutes. Hour and forty, so it went on for quite a while. It was a good one. Eleven and months ago, exactly. Is it eleven months ago exactly? Yeah. What? Go on, then I love a hype train. Go on, then I love a hype train. Thank you, Bethany. Um, I don't know why that's coming through therefore and not my headphones. Very strange. Never mind. Um, yeah. That was an interesting one. There was a lot of good questions that came out from then and we've had... The community has changed somewhat from then because I think 11 months ago we probably had about 50 people in the community. 50, 60 people in the community, and now we're over 500. A little bit of growth. A little bit of new, more new people. So, I will say, any new people, or anyone who has questions, go for it. We love questions. Love them. <laughs> How much are you missing the field at the moment? Oh, too much. Too it, much. it is my entertainment for the whole year. Um, I work too many hours with children mm. so getting away from children is beautiful um not that i don't dislike children <laughs> i love children but um i work at nursery level uh, and um yeah the age group i work with are interesting let's put it say um so yeah, yeah i i do have some pent out anger that i definitely need to take out on the field somewhere but i don't know how i'm gonna do it and for another year i think well hopefully we'll get an e4 but fingers crossed on that front so how has the um, apothecaries guild been then in the last 11 months have things changed have they grown 
has... Believe it or not, nothing has changed, uh, mainly because we need <laughs> to have a meeting and for the meeting to happen, we all have to be on the field together. Right. Uh, but we do know that we're going to be having, hopefully, a meeting soon uh, with, oh, if I can remember where my notes were, if, uh, I've got a lot of notes from everyone. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, yeah, sorry, give me two secs. Um, is that we will be having a meeting with the Senate soon, um, which is the only thing that has changed since last well, 11 months, nearly 12 months, I suppose. Um, and that is to talk about, obviously, what we talked about last time with the Senate and Conclave mm. and all that fun stuff. Yeah. So, because of, is it you were looking for uh, help with funding and getting money for? Um, not so much that we want to make the Potty Guild a more. Oh, you can uh, get a few pints with this. Thanks for it's... being with them these 11 months. Holy many fucking months shit balls, Liam. Wow. That's a lot. Uh, but we're hoping... That's over 100 quid. Wow. <laughs> fucking hell. Liam, are you abs Are you sure... This, that's insanity. That is, I mean, that's a meet, look, 177% there for the level 5 hype train. <laughs> the last, the last time this happened was when we, uh, we were looking at getting a bell tent to give away to someone and Kai came in and donated a hundred quid. And it lit and it literally paid for everything. This is Liam. I'm I'm absolutely gobsmacked. And um and mine and Becca's child is now three months old. She's subbed for twelve months. <laughs> I do maths too. Nine plus three piece. I'll shut up now. Um that's insanity. Liam, you are absolute legend. That's incredible. That's, um, that's, yeah. Well, that's a start. <laughs> uh, so we've gone from being at like 17% to 95%. Uh, Liam donated over 100 quid. Claire. Level five hype train emotes. It's fine. You've been a great streamer to watch. Uh, to watch finally because support financially also it helps. As I'm going to ask loads of questions tonight. <laughs> it's a guilt donation. <laughs> oh, Liam, you, you're a oh, lovely human being. Thank you so much. Oh. Might as well finish it plus a bit. We're at 100.01%. I can't talk there either. Don't thank you. Um, yeah. So that's, so we're currently sat on 150 quid, 155 quid right now. Let's, we need to, well, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. Careful, Steve, it's the don't trust a fart stage of excitement. This is true. This is true. But yeah, so that's, um, yeah, so we've got, we're up to 150 quid now and stuff like that. So, <sighs> this broke me. I'm sorry. But this all, this all goes back to 
the community. So this is all going to go to doing something amazing for everyone. So <sighs> Liam, you're a twat and thank you. <laughs> there we go. That's the best you're getting out of me. So yeah. So sorry. You were, you were saying Artemis. I've lost, I've lost a train of thought. <laughs> Liam broke the stream, everyone. <laughs> uh, but I can't even remember what the question was. Uh, something about funding from the Senate. I thought. I think I said. Um, so no, we are not looking. For, if I remember correctly, not looking for funding. We are looking to make the Apostle Guild its own kind of thing, like the Senate and the Conclave. Um, mainly because we, at the moment, are under their jurisdiction and there is bans and not enough things that we can do, really, in terms of role play and yeah. just fun fun stuff. Because um, yeah. it had been mentioned before. Uh, someone's mentioned it in, um, in chat. Um, I think it was Liam, actually, about potentially setting up like a... Like a uh, <laughs> oh my god i love you guys so much i love you all so much virtual kisses going to everybody out there you know and when i see you in a field there will be kisses for everyone everyone it's gonna be like a really chubby hairy version of kiss chase because i'm fat you see <laughs> um I thought you send a London pint your way. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. This is amazing. Um, yeah, because I think it was Liam. I'm pretty sure it was Liam who was talking about setting up, like uh, asking about, uh, like doing an IC charity for the for the Apothecaries Guild to see about getting money put into it to make potions and do those sorts of things. Um, to my knowledge, we have a system of bringing in income at the moment from the orders of people who come into the tent who come see me um but in terms of the charity i haven't heard anything about it yet so i do apologize chat um he's a new player was... brand new player yeah so this brand is going to be his next one yeah so yeah. but um i'm sure that anything that anyone does to help the apothecary guild will be greatly appreciated Yes, because... Um, and the artisans who we share their tent, because two places at once. Yeah. So would it be, is it worth, um, if the guild gets set up properly like that, then do you think that PD will actually give you a tent? Or is that going to be a potential fundraiser to get you all a tent? Um, so as I'm aware at the moment, uh, we're not looking to expand our premises at the moment, mainly because we are sharing with the artisans and it's a case of we help uh, set up the tent and take it down at the moment. Mm. Um, but I believe in the future it might be a prospect uh, in terms of if we ask PD to do it or not, or if it's a case of raising our own money for our own tent, uh, that will have to be clarified in a group meeting, unfortunately. And yeah. because, and unfortunately, no meetings have taken place no. <laughs> since 11 months ago. Well, let me know because I've, I've done it for the league theater already and um we did a fundraise and we, we we raised i think it was like a grand or something and we got their them a brand new tent for their stuff so yeah so let me know more than happy to help out if you need it so okay um so as a york <laughs> thank you bethany a 131 bits is a Yorkshire pint. I don't understand. Uh, so yeah, Liam says, I found out loads of people had done it. Uh, I made one for the healers and potion makers. I called it the Trampled Herb. It's a good name. I like the name. I have I, I have heard of that because as well as part of the Apothecary Guild, I am part of the Healers Guild as well. So I had heard that one. Double trouble. Double trouble. Double trouble. So... Um, so James has asked, uh, what's your favourite potion set and why? Oh, I like all of them. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah. It's too hard to 
choose because they all have their own amazing things that I like doing with them or giving to someone to do with stuff. Mm. Um, but I do have to say, I can't remember the name of the set itself, but I do love the Sovereign Pacific or the Mage Bloods. I love my Mage Bloods. Yes. Uh, we are, we are, no yes. I how much this is worth in pints, but keep up the I awesome don't know work. why the audio is coming through my TV and not. Oh, let's re plug in my headphones and see if that fixes it. Right. Hopefully that's worked. 500 bits. Max, thank you so much. Um, yes, because you, you currently hold the record, I believe, for Mage's Blood made. Yeah, the most Mage's Blood let's, made in one day. Let, 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 let's see if chat can have a guess at how much uh, Mage's Blood was made. See if they can remember. So I believe uh, Larry the Fuzzy is in chat. He probably already knows, so he's not allowed to guess. But we'll, we'll come back to that one and we'll see how... <sighs> see, not only has Becca gone for one of the best numbers, but she's also wrong. Uh, boy, I hope this gets more people chatting apothecary in Discord. Yes, bits equals potions. No, nope. uh, you are you're you're both miles out. Ooh, four hundred and twenty, close, close. So, do you want to reveal the answer? Bits equal potions, right? It's exactly four hundred and sixteen. Mage bloods. Yeah. There you go. That's amazing. Was that for that was for a, a huge battle? Was it? Um, I assume so. It was made on a private order, um, so n unfortunately not part of the Apothecary's Guild. But um, I made it for a chapter within Highgard, um, who, as far as I can remember now, actually went on to go and sell it before a big battle. So yes and no. I don't know. I can't remember all the details. It's been so long. Now. It has. It's been a really long time. I. I have to admit, I was sat here thinking. I'm trying to remember what we talked about last time, so we're probably going to go over the similar sort of things. But it doesn't matter. But the it's numbers. All right. I, I. I have written notes. Good. <laughs> um. I literally sat there today rewatching it just so I can remember what we spoke about. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, there was uh, so um, Vrake has asked, uh, "What is Mage's Blood?" Blood. So, so Mage's Blood is used for the magic people in the community who it helps replenish their, I believe, mana of some sort. I'm not, I don't do magic stuff, so I don't have a clue. But I just know it's in very high demand. Mm. Sometimes, depend on the situation and what battlefield you go into. Would no. well no keep everything away from me to be honest because uh, I steal so much stuff, but um, yeah I think that will be the tent that I should never be allowed to go into artisans apothecary's tent because anything that's left around, it will just end up in my pocket. Oh, nothing's left around purposely for that reason. I'm sure I could find something. Challenge accepted. <laughs> right. Like, I'm a very um, hard hitter with a dagger, so watch out. Excellent. Uh, so, Joseph said, I've hoarded loads of herds over five or so events and I've got seven XP to spend on potion sets. What would be good potion sets to make a bit of money or for interesting RP? So, it all depends on what nation you are and it also depends Winter on Mark. your own... So, Wintermark in this case. So, I'm going to guess the Goose Whispers. Only because it's Wintermark. Um, it has, I don't know why, but yeah. Um, but then with terms of other sets, uh, in terms of good value for potions and making, it all depends on your, how you want to role play um, mm. and what you want to do as your character. I personally have um, way too many recipes to remember off the top of my head. Um, I think I'm only missing two sets now, um, if Jesus. I remember correctly. Yeah, um, in, in le not including the Druze potions, but uh, yeah. that's a, another one altogether. Uh, but yeah, it's a, 
fun as it's going to be. It's yeah, it's um, up to you what you want to do with your potion sets, and if you want to pick your potion set, because I personally have gone for healing and apothecary, so that's the only reason why I haven't got two points extra for the last two recipes. Excellent, excellent. Because there's there's so many potions in the game. There, if I remember correctly, there's like fifty five potions that can currently be made legally. Ooh. Yeah, legally. Now um, you've piqued my interest. There are a, well, I suppose yeah, some potions have been banned, haven't they? By yeah, the so they're either system. banned by conclave or senate themselves mm. um i am not here to argue reasons why nope. um i personally can't remember why they want to do that but um i just know there's also the poisons as well that we can brew that are also illegal according to multiple different sectors as well so yeah, yeah. it's okay. not just one case <laughs> no no, there was uh, there was a large amount of assassinations happening, and I believe that's why uh, certain things have been banned, which is yes. which is great fun. Um, Just got to be more inventive on how you kill people in the field, then. Yeah, basically, stop being boring and just do it. You know, think of it in a really fun way. Wait till someone's fallen over in a ditch, and then go in and help them up with a hammer twenty times. Especially when they're had a bit to drink as well and they're walking down murder alley purposely for a reason just to be killed not many people have died on that well not been actually killed on murder alley no but there's got to be a reason why right yeah well it goes past the orcs and the navarre but you can't get into the orcs that way i live right at the bottom of it so that's that's good too uh, Helena said uh, that the max she made of Mage Blood was 60 uh, to one person, so she can totally see 416 happening. Um, love the idea that you made over 400 and you're just like, yeah, I don't know what I did. <laughs> uh, I just, I am what they call a mass producer of potions, and I think this was um, a bad word I said last time, um, if I remember correctly. Um, I just make a lot of batch potions um, purposely because I don't get to do a lot of potion making as I'm in the potion shop. No. Um, no. And when I do get time, it tends to be a lot of potions for lots of different people, but happens to be the same potion. So I just make it all in one batch. Yeah. Um, uh, Talisman uh, says, having just searched the wiki, Mage Blood is two herbs for two personal mana restored to the drinker. Yeah. That's that's cool because I think I've gone into a battle with Grim before and he had like twelve on him. So, but he's yeah. he's like my personal empower buddy. So he runs around with me constantly, just empowering. So I can just constantly call shatter with my with my bear claws. It's great. Um, sounds like such a deal. Uh, it's very yeah. They are very very popular. So when you mug people, but sorry. When you find herbs on potions on the floor uh, and in places, mage blood is actually quite common in yeah, the field. It it's, it's just a very, very common one. I think I have, I've actually got two or three in my in my box, and I'm not a mage. I have in no my need for it. In my personal stash, I have six, um, but that's just leftovers from my own personal reserve of herbs. So. Mm. Yeah. And also because I have mages in my, my in my chapter house, so they just they just get it when they want it. Yeah, I steal it, even from my own hall. <laughs> um, it turns out that some people are aware of this and they don't care, or they do care and they're just building up a case against me. <laughs> um, but I'm head of security also for the hall, so I'm pretty sure I can take them. <laughs> um, so uh, I'll probably make more use of Mage Blood if I actually use my personal mana more. So many people have said that that when they're doing things like that, they don't use their personal mana unless it's a last resort. Yeah, it, I, I, from what I can 
work out um personal manner is a bit harder to get back on the battlefield so it's, it's just easier to just use mage blood yeah you can go into there's some like uh, consecrated places or hallowed places and and you can go in spend 10 minutes in there and have a cup of tea because i think Lumi's is one you can go and sit down in Lumi's, have a cup of tea and you'll get your personal mana back it's a really good it's really really good um so yeah, that's 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 one of my favorites. And uh, it turns out for everyone else, if you if tea isn't your thing, they do uh, cider in there too. So I've seen people go in there, have a bottle of cider, get their personal mana back, go off and carry on the game. Um, uh, McGalia, a question from a newbie: How do you how do fizz reps and potions work? For example, if I sell a potion. Does that include selling the fizz rep with the Lamy, or could I change more to, in, or could I charge more to include the fizz rep? So, fizz rep is a hard one because um, mm. the potion bottles have to be safe, mainly for battlefield as well, uh, which means no glass. Or if you go buy glass, ask them to change the fizz rep uh, for themselves. Uh, in terms Ooh. of like herbs themselves, just just use actual real life herbs there's no shame in doing that yeah um i personally only have a fizz rep of scales a mortal pester and a small cauldron that i take around every now and then um my chapter house has a big cauldron so i use that one you have a uh, little cauldron i have a small cauldron and then at my chapter house is the, there's a bigger one and you got a big cauldron oh my I god have... that's amazing um and then in terms of you could charge the person who's buying you for your fizz rep um but make sure that they understand that you are sending them the fizz rep as well as an extra premium as well from the potion itself um yeah after all it does cost a lot of money for the potion bottles uh, i've been there done it i do too many systems with apocryphy and trust me if i had all the money back from all the potion bottles i've sold over the years i would i'd probably be an extra thousand pound richer uh, yeah. um so yeah. it, it it all depends on how you would like to play it um as i said preferably plastic bottles uh in terms of the contents of the bottles uh water the best bet and food coloring um mm because very little can happen. Um, if it happens to be that you are trying to sell it as an alcohol or beverage as well, let the people who you sell it to know about that before you sell it to them, um, in which case they will probably take just the, the card rather than the fizz rep. Um, Do you want to hear a story about that? I, I've heard a few things on the, on, on the field um related to that and there's a reason why um i have said that yeah uh, mainly because it has happened to me um i was thinking at the time innocently that it was just water and it ended up being a mixture of too many things and too many alcohol poisonings later that's bad that's really bad my, um, my, mine wasn't bad my mine was um it's quite good. There's a there's a guy in Navarre. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mention any names. Uh, but he was a healer. He can't take the field anymore. But he walked. He was in the field with us. This was uh, bless you. He um. It was uh, E one year one. It was really really cold, and we were in the battle, and you could see people were shivering and stuff. It doesn't matter. There were people who were running around so much. And they were their their sweat was freezing, so they were able to like pick it off as ice, and then just yeah, it wasn't good. And I got knocked down, and he came over to me and was just sort of like, "Right, this is going to heal you up. Do you want water, or do you want this, or do you want the little something extra that will warm you up a little bit?" It was whiskey. It was wonderful. And so it's a tiny little snifter of whiskey in a, one of those tiny little potion bowls. But it was really, really nice. Um, but he he was being very sensible with it. He was saying to people, right, you've had one. If you go down again, you're on water. and that Because obviously, you don't want to encourage people to be drinking on a 
in the field and stuff like that. But it was for me, it was quite it was quite nice because actually it was meant to reinvigorate you and stuff like that. And having that little bit of whiskey go down and warm me up inside, it was quite nice. But top speed. Yeah, it was nice. I do like I am partial to a little bit of whiskey as well, so it was it was good. But yeah, you do hear some horror stories where people have just said, "Here, drink this," and it's like been vodka and and stuff like that. It's yeah. Yeah, mine was a pure mix of I don't know what it was. Yeah. Well, Even to this day, I still can't place what everything was in it, and it was I didn't think anything of it. It was a small little bottle, and it was just. Ugh. Yeah. Um. I think I'm quite a way behind in chat now. So Liam's asked, how would I go about becoming an apprentice for a potion maker? My character wants to be a potion maker. So Liam's actually gone and forked out for the Dark Blade big uh, potion makers uh, bag. Really, yep. really big thing. It looks amazing. So at the moment, we are in the process of talking about apprenticeship and a whole system to do with that. Um but the best thing to do is come and find the Property Slash Artisan's Tent at the end of Market Row um, and come and speak to me or one of the other heads who I'm sure will, what, uh, a picture will be somewhere of them um, and ask to join the Property Guild. It's quite a simple process. It's either two rings for each event um or a herb and replacement and you come and join in the afternoon for the meeting and you'll get one of these um we record what nation you come from uh what recipes you know uh just so that we can go and source you out if we need your help uh which is most of the time we will need lots of apostles to come and to the tent for the orders that mm -hmm. happen to be there um and then every single month uh every single event after that is still 10 rings or the herb uh i think it's works out cheaper just to do the herbs if i i can't quite remember the rate at the moment um but or actually no, it's cheaper to do two ring two rings, uh, especially as a new person. Mm. And every single time we try to meet on the Friday, um, just so that we have a clear understanding of what's going on or what potentially is going to go on for the rest of the event. Um yeah. if you do have any questions about anything in terms of in character, then come and find us on the field. Um mainly in the proxy slash artist intent because someone will always be there if I, it's not myself it'd be guildmaster esteban uh who knows all potion recipes um so it's just a case of finding one of us to um and we'll hopefully be able to answer your question in character as well yeah yeah okay, like I mean. finding a person to apprentice under if we start developing that um trend we have had to be spoken about it um but it's the process of uh, finalizing details before it gets made into a natural thing yeah yeah um God, there's so much so uh Glaz asked uh how to fizz rep herbs and potions but you kind of covered that do you use any specific um her real world herbs to fizz rep things or personally i don't fizz rep herbs um mainly because trying to keep fresh herbs is a nightmare mm. um and i'm not a great fan of dried herbs um but if you're keeping it in a potion bottle there is descriptions of the herbs on the wiki page what the best thing to do is find a herb that's similar to the actual herb description um yeah. I know rosemary's used a lot. I know lavender's used, um, but apart from that, it, it's all down to you. It's all down to your personal preference of what smells you like hanging around you. Because yeah. I can think of a few herbs I hate being around me, like basil. I hate basil. <laughs> um, Lynn's asked, uh, how many sets of potions 
How many sets of potion sets are available and what are the different types? Here you go. This is to test you. There is 22 potion sets. You've made notes. <laughs> I see the screen change. I saw that. Um, it actually didn't say anything about that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> looking at something else. Um, in terms of uh, ones that won't get you in trouble, um, I'm going to say about 18 of them are actually okay and won't get you in trouble if, say, for example, someone got po poisoned and you are the first person they point the finger at because you know how to make the po poisons. Mm. Um, Have you ever had the militia come to you and say, who knows how to make this po poison? No, but no one has made poisons in a long while. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, mainly because we don't make the poisons. We're not legally allowed to make them. We just have to know how to identify them. Mm. And to do that, you have to know the potion, the poison recipes. Yeah. Because uh, therefore you also know the antidote as well. Yeah. So it's a catch-22. Mm. Yeah, see, new, new poisons would be fun. I want to see more poisons and drugs coming into the game. I would too. So, well, I got we've got Matt P on in like two weeks, so I might bring that up to him because I know he's a fan of all of this as well. So, yeah, we'll have to ask him about that. Um, Pete's asked, uh, "Is it possible to create or come up with new potions that become more widely used in the game?" Uh, not at the moment. No. <laughs> it's a whole system of buggery at the moment let's put it that way um <laughs> it's I, we are at the moment under conclave's jurisdiction if i remember correctly and mm. they, they they're not allowing at the moment certain potions to be looked at closely so we don't really get a lot of game at the moment um unfortunately uh, we are working towards... fucking it up for everyone else. Yeah. Um, As normal. But we, we know that there is Druge potion and poisons, um, but to reverse engineer them is a thing that we have to do actual projections for, and we've got quite a few, and I know we've got quite a few of them in the field at the moment, and they're just not getting actual projected at the moment. Um, so it's a case of a waiting game to find out what they're made for and then we have to go through a whole system to figure out how we're going to make them and find out their effects as well because yeah it's a lot of fun and games yeah uh, so Kyle has just said we now have a high guard in a stream we are slowly taking control is there a potion that will cure you of high guard no. So it's in cure. So yeah, okay. Never, never mind. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, let's put it this way: High Guard own one name title within the Prophecy Guild, and we have our High Guard um, Nation rep as well, Ovid. Um, so look for him on the on the field. So he'll be around High Guard. Yeah, because uh, remember from last time, every nation has a has a rep, don't don't they? Yeah, all apart from one, um, which I can't remember at the moment without looking completely at very old notes. Um, to the point that they're not actually in front of me anymore. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, every nation has at some form of a rep, even if it's not from your own nation. There is a rep there for you. Yes. to go to or if you can't go to a rep because you don't know who they are just come straight to the proxy pen and i'll help you mm. in some shape or form yeah no that's awesome that's awesome that's good that's that's good I, I it's there's a lot of other guilds out there who have done things and they don't have the same uh sort of setup as the apothecary skill where you've actually tried to get everyone as many people involved as you can so yeah and we, we want more people uh the the more the better yeah 
There's... After all, the epoxy guild is for the right of the epoxies to yeah. make and use their po potions and poisons and yeah. arms and tonics and whatever you want to make teas. There's even teas. There's there's actually there's a lot of new players in the Discord who are interested in potions and the, the apothecary guild and things like that. So hopefully next event, whenever that may be, you the, you've got a queue outside of everyone. Oh, I hope so. Everyone coming along and, and stuff like that. So um but to be honest, no my character I'd send them to you regardless, even if they were looking for the toilets. Anyway, um I do know where they are as well sometimes. <laughs> Um, oh, Raph. Hello, mate. Uh, making new potion recipes is pretty unlikely to work the same way it does with magic items. Uh, we put all the potions we thought were cool pretty much in the game at the start. Ah. Interesting. Well, hopefully there's a, there's, I mean, there's scope to grow and, and stuff like that, so. Um, but I, I, I hope that you get the new, that you get a similar sort of setup to, like, Conclave Senate and stuff like that, and then it because, yeah, then game can grow. I mean, perhaps if you even... I think this is what we talked about last time, wasn't it? We were saying, go to the Senate, really push this in the Senate and get them to yeah. uh, re uh, recognise you as your own guild and, and stuff like that, put you under your own control and official imperial I, title. I believe we are working towards that. That's, I think that's why we said about the meeting with the Senate yes. in, the, in my notes or chat that we... The leaders have um but as i said it's it should have been sooner but obviously beautiful beautiful covid that is yeah bothering yeah. everyone up is uh taking supersede over everything so yeah yeah definitely uh there's some uh people with some sensible advice um in chat if i get given something and not told what's in it or anything like that yeah don't don't accept it um, so we also had this last time if someone gives you something expecting you to drink it um whatever they put in it is null and void it's unless it's a poison in which case you have to have a bumblebee or a rep there yeah. um it it doesn't exist uh they cannot force you to drink <clears throat> no any poison or well any potion sorry or yeah. tonics um yeah which yeah, I think, yes, we definitely talked about that last time. I was just trying to remember what I was without yeah. actually looking at them. Yes, it's um, it's one of those ones that I think the, the potion maker should be, or whoever giving you something to drink should be sensible enough to say, oh, this is just water, this is Coke, this is orange juice, something like that. That's just the sensible thing to do, and it's, it's the safer thing to do as well. So, yeah, if it's... If you're expecting a pint from someone and they give it to you and then there's a bumblebee stood in the corner giggling, <laughs> well, you're going to have a fun yeah. time. You're going you're gonna to have a fun time. Um, I've done it once with a bumblebee stood in the corner and that was to give them twi someone Twilight, mm. which is the a euphoric high. So it's a really, it's a nice drug. Well, as nice as in character drugs can get anyway. I was so upset I gave away one of my bits of Twilight, to be honest. But ho hum, they had fun. We were all on Twilight. It was great, really enjoyable. Um, so yeah, so uh, somebody who doesn't drink, I never accept any potions to drink from anyone. Yeah, sensible. Uh, I think I'll be labelling the bottom, the bottom of my fizz reps. Yep, yeah, sensible, very very sensible. Ah, oh, Pete, subscribe with Prime. Ten months. Our our baby is one month old. We're back to me being able to do maths again. Um, but yeah, uh, Helen has pointed out, I don't want to give anyone an allergic reaction or make them sick. Because obviously there are people who can't drink alcohol they, or some alcohols give them a, a, a reaction uh, to things. So as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm one of those unlucky ones. I can't drink anything with hops in. So yeah. So yeah. No all, beers and ales. Yeah. So all, always ask, always be... Uh, sensible. I see a lot of people now with their uh, fizz reps. The fizz reps is just a an empty bottle. Yeah, it, it well. the, the plastic bottles um, are the best fizz rep at the moment. Mm. Mm, that is legal, and if it breaks, it's not going to cut you to shreds. Um, no. 
or do lasting damage. I mean, you get a bruise, maybe max, and that's a little bruise in the far scheme of going into battlefields. Yeah. So, because um, I suppose if you're going into a battle and you've got a hundred potions on you, you don't want to carry a hundred bottles. So if you've got yeah. the one bottle, then you can at least go da da da. Here's that. Drink this. Empty bottle. Da da da. That's done. Go off. Yeah. You you do your you carry on and stuff. Yeah. So yeah. Makes sense. Um. What do you think of some of the newer potion sets that work better on the orcs? I mean, all good for orcs, I suppose. Um, I haven't actually looked at the recipes. I think they are new ones to the point that I haven't got them as a set that I know. But yeah. um, I know that I will be working towards more potion, potion recipes. So I'll probably have a look at them. But, I mean... If anything works for orcs, good for them. I mean, I've got no qualms with orcs, and I don't have any qualms with poisons, potions, and tonics. So, and especially that order. <laughs> How do you feel about lineage? Mm, well, I've got lineage in my chapter house, so I can't. I've got no problems with them at all. Okay. Um... I, uh, they they are. Uh, the ones in my chap's house are very loving. Um, I've got no qualms in an or out of character with lineage at all. Um, in fact, I wish it was more. Apart from briars. Same thing. Uh, I don't know many briars, I have to admit. Um, <laughs> but I do... The ones I do know, I've got no problems with at all. Um, after all... We're all in this horrible world together. We might as well live with it. Very diplomatic. <laughs> Kyle, there's no problems with lineage. He's high guard. He hates lineage. Um, I won't say anything. Uh, uh, sorry, I just scrolled through. I am so far behind <laughs> in all of this. I do apologise. Uh, in fact, three quarters of the last events we had to send someone off to the scary tent to identify all oh, what potions. Uh, oh, it has helped the militia in the past. Okay, that's cool. That's good to know. So at least that's we are. Anyway. Um, I, th it, I think it's just a, sometimes we do get the random. Do you know what this po potion is? Mm. Um, in which case it is. Hopefully, you know it because you know the set. Um, yeah. but then you've got the. Uh, other problem of if you don't know the sets you don't know what it is and no. you are hope that you know someone who might know the sets that you don't yeah um, which is why we are very very keen on the apocalypse guild becoming bigger than what it is for yeah. people to identify the not so common potions so to say mm. okay that's that's good it's i think everything that we've you've been going over in that it seems to point in the direction that it'd be really good to get the apothecary guild actually recognized as a proper guild and get more stuff because everyone needs the role play everyone wants the game so maybe uh let's let's find some uh senators who can put this all forward and stuff like that <sighs> that's awesome conclave we are the baddies yes you are chris yes yes you are um, to, has a potion, to your knowledge, ever come into the game via downtime trade or dealing with an Eternal? Uh, we can't reverse engineer it, but it's a one-use mega potion type thing. I do know every now and then we do get a random potion from the Eternals. Um, uh, they won't tell us, I don't think, what it is or what it does um, or how to make it. But um, that's the only very rare case. Um, is I mean, I personally can't think of any, but I know it has happened. Um, uh, mainly probably when I wasn't a poxy, um at all. Um, I do know that we have people who are in conclave and trying to speak to eternals about current potions that have come from them the eternals and ask them 
what it is and what it does and how to make it um yeah. but it's a long process like most things mm. um uh until we know what it is what it does and what it requires in the potion um we can't really go and say it's a confirmed potion within a set that we can make so to say so with those uh, sorts of potions does someone just have to take it so what um i know especially the druge one um there's a couple of druge ones going around at the moment uh what the apocalypse guild is they have gained a sample of the potion um and we have got it under lock and key until we can figure out what it is what it does and how to make it and reverse engineer it um to see if there's a way to make it and how it can benefit us but on the other hand we then get stopped, stopped by conclave for doing stuff like that <sighs> bloody conclave if you so, want i will just take it for you i can happily take it and you can see what the effects are I volunteer I, as tribute. I think it's because we've got such a small amount. Um, we want to make sure we've got more of it before we do any live testing on people. Like to say. Well, if you need to keep it safe, I will happily keep it safe for you as well. <laughs> I'll just take it. Just ignore me. Um, <laughs> uh, what's the potion the Black Gate do? Is that a poison? Uh, the Black Gate... Uh, I remember off the top of my head. Okay. Uh, I don't actually. It's um. Makes you feel dizzy, and basically makes you confused. It's uh, it's one of those poisons that you give to people who you don't like and want to control. That's way to describe it. So James is uh, right then. The Black Gate will cure Highgard. <laughs> but not for long. Not until... Uh, it can only last until sunrise. Right, okay. Um, so, and that's not one that you can force down someone's throat. No. No. Uh, how much XP does it... Uh, and time would it take to learn all the sets of potions? If that's even possible. Just curious. That's from Liam. So... I. I Someone does, uh, the the head of the guild has all of them, doesn't he? Yeah. Um, I kind of want to say a few years, more than six years. Yeah. Um, because it's, I mean, I, I brushed, I used most, yeah, I used most of my uh, skill picks at the beginning to get a lot of the potion recipes. Um, and then I've been getting to... Yeah, well, every skill point, so two a year, um, means two recipe lists per year. So, yeah, I think, mm. I don't want to say more than six years. A good yeah, while. Yeah, you know, a good while, but... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, a, a long while, let's put it that way. So, a couple of people have bought up, a few people have bought up the Yale potion... Is this yeah. is this store still causing game at the moment? Uh, I believe so, but not in the facility that I know of. Um, okay. It's been looked at somewhere else, uh, as far as I'm aware. I'm not. I know of it, but it's a case of I haven't had knowledge of it um in character mainly because my character doesn't go and look out for random potions and poisons okay. um just yet <laughs> she might do in the future but not quite yet yeah okay um so yeah because Claire's i want to mention the experimental potion connected with the o but i suspect that's still causing game carl said yes the l potion uh the rudray pelican uh, did the yale potion cover up uh, oh, did the Yale Potion cover up the OC lies the players told to people? I have, no, to, but... I have to admit, I know nothing about this. I, I will also conclude that I, I have no idea. I didn't know that Yale was still being looked at. Um, as far as I was aware, it was done and dusted and no conclusion yeah. came from it. Um, but, obviously, I'm 
a bit newer to the game than most people, so um, yeah, yeah. It that will be one that I would have to go back to the guild master and see what he says, or even Dino, our treasury, or, or our clerk, um, and see what they say. Um, out of the group, I'm probably the youngest out of the titled mm. members. Yeah. Um, so. I, I, think, great. <laughs> I, I think if there's suspicion of OC foul play, then it'll probably be worth it's you know getting PD, uh, chuck them an email, and then go from there. That's because that'll be all we can really say. Um, John said it'll take six years of playing, buying five for the starting XP, then twelve more to get with two XP a year. Yeah. There you go. Oh, I said roughly six. So yeah. 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 Uh, that, I said I'm two away from. A complete set, but that's only because I've not been there to play. Okay, so okay, so I think Larry's covered that one. So the positions you have within the guild: guildmaster, secretary, shopkeeper, treasurer, and the national reps. Yeah. Awesome. Apothecaries uh, unite, break the tyranny of the mages. It is pretty much that at the moment. Uh, we are working towards getting away from Conclave and wherever, just to be our on our own and not being dictated what potions and poisons and everything we can make and not make. Yeah. Classic mages being uh, buzzkids. Um, are there many ways to discover how to make a new potion? Well, I think as uh, Mr. Raff has said, it's... Well, they they thrown everything that they thought was cool in at the beginning. So that probably there might be more. They might well they I think chances are when they come up with stuff they'll throw more in. And how they get yeah. people to investigate it. Well, so I personally have a theory that the Druish potions is going to be running on that stream of they are new and therefore we don't know what <coughs> they do, which means they could become their own set. Um but <coughs> working out what they do and how to make them is a whole new kettle of fish, and we d can't do that at the moment. It seems no, no. Okay, uh, the black gate is a poison that will kill you in thirty minutes. Yeah, but it also makes your conclusion easily controllable until then. I like this. I like this poison. I need some of this um, for purely academic purposes, of course. Uh, I remember the Conclave arguments over it, over if Conclave have power over potions and if they're magic. That was a very long meeting. <laughs> it, it, if I, I remember that. Her, people talking about that meeting, and yes, and it was actually to do with the argument of herbs being magical as well, uh, which mm. it begs to differ. They have things that can <laughs> imitate magic, but they're not magic. And it's the same argument that the hospital has, I believe, at the moment. Um, don't quote me on that, guys, because I haven't heard anything from the hospital for a while. No, um, no. Um, um, but yeah, it's 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 uh, yeah, conclave. That's, that's all I can say. It's conclave being conclave. So, uh, quote of the night from chat goes to Lady Pigeon. Uh, long by conclave standards, scary. Um, <laughs> uh, Larry the Fuzzy for those who miss this the guild position is that they're not because detect magic does nothing excellent chat so far thank you very much Pepping Forward that's awesome I'd like to hear that uh, Conclave responded that they had jurisdiction because poisons are a threat uh, then... I believe it's actually to do with a potion that had ability to take freedom of will of someone not because of the poisons, which not many people can do anyway. And most people don't make the poisons. So the threat is not there. It was to do with the freedom of will and yeah. uh, turn them against the virtues in some way or form. Uh, not to do with poison. Yeah. And then the Conclave threatened to ban boots. Yeah, in the same meeting. Conclave are the reason we can't have good things. Conclave, pull your fingers out. We don't like you. Thank you. That is my TED talk. Um, 
<laughs> uh, I feel like I've missed something. I keep hearing about Conclave. What is Conclave doing with Apothecary's Guild? <coughs> we don't know. <laughs> well, Liam, that one is 100%. Find that one out in play. When you get into the field, ask those questions. You will get answers. Uh, so, yeah, definitely ask that one in the field. Uh, still happening because there are rumours of the potion being the thing that interferes with truly our visions. Possibly. I mean, the civil service side of the conclave, so there is that. Oh, oh Claire, no. I get to sit through all of conclave. So, yes, it was interesting, though. I can't remember the civil service side of the conclave. I'd have to check with the other civil service, but my memory is rubbish. The problem arose in the first place because of OC text, which is not backed up by IC decisions. It was a bit better. I see. So this was something that was probably brought in in uh, notes and stuff that was treated IC when it was OC notes. Probably. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm not down with all the information. I just run the shop. Yeah. Uh, Megalia, are IC drugs and potions connected? Or are all icy drugs naturally occurring? There's some, like Goose Whisper, that could be classed as a drug, um, I suppose. Um, obviously, you've got Twilight as well. Um, you know, they, they are more made in a big vat or something. Um, <laughs> but in terms of natural I, I, yeah you can get natural drugs as well um kind of like spice i suppose of some sort um but in terms of yeah I've, they, I, I suppose they can be connected in some shape or form i mean you mm. could probably make a better drug from natural drugs by giving it as a pocket fairy guild to say make it better in some yeah. shape or form but um yeah in terms of occurring uh i personally don't make a lot of them but i'm sure it's going to be a, a fun one for certain people to make um and to take and to take mm. um yeah that, that that's the one I, I i like these um i like these the ic drugs because it's a break from the norm within the game i think it, whereas the game can be relatively serious about a lot of things, I think all of a sudden having someone say, "Oh, I've I've taken well, for example, bite," they've gone, "Oh, I've taken a bit of bite," and they read it, and it's like, "Oh, great," and then they've drawn their weapon and they're attacking like five people around them, and they have, and then everyone's involved. It creates that shock, thirty second scene, and everyone is then talking about it and they're like oh did you did you hear about what happened in the forge there's like there's someone attacked five people and they had to get put down and then they got arrested and all this sort of stuff and you hear about all of these sorts of things but i know that the the well bite and twilight especially those two uh they haven't been able to they want to reverse engineer them but anything happening with that um because for no reason whatsoever i'm quite heavily involved with the reverse engineering twilight so that the empire can make it but that doesn't seem to have gone anywhere um, i'm gonna say no at the moment because the druge potions have taken supersedes over pretty much most things um mm. apart from obviously general running of making potions poisons phonics whatever you want to call them yeah um, but I know there is maybe one or two people who are still doing the research on it. Maybe I can't, don't quote again. Um, it's all in the book that I don't have. It's mainly, uh, someone else has the book and I don't have the book in front of me, but that tells me everything that's going on. Um, and as I said, I don't have it. Yeah, because it explains a conversation that I had last event where someone was coming around asking for Twilight. They wanted uh, a potion. They wanted one of the, the potions because nowhere in the field had it. And there was rumour only one person had it and it was me. 
and they came up asking for and asked if I had any and they were going to I think they had offered me two throws for one potion and I said no that I didn't have any I am your enemy when it comes to Twilight I feel now after hearing you say this <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a, <laughs> because I had like I've got like seven potions <laughs> bits of Twilight I don't want to give it up. We'll we'll work our way around it somehow. I will I will kill everybody in the Apothecary's Guild if I have to. I didn't say anything about taking it from you. Alive. Yeah, well even if it's the Black Gate, I've got half an hour to kill everyone I, everyone I can and I will. Um Chris is a, Chris has got a good question here for you. Uh with potions, do you like the mechanical effect? Me- with potions, do you like the mechanical effects or the roleplay effects more? And if you could make one potion, would it have more mechanical effects or roleplay effects? Mm. I like both. Um, mainly because mechanical gives you a bit of more understanding how you should be roleplaying. Yeah. But the roleplaying helps uh, you understand your mechanical reasons for doing actions. Right. Um so in terms of my favorite action type um potion i would have to say uh scott mead it's funny it's hilarious i love it but um in terms of the role play just for it is great um the mechanical's not all that there for it but you can understand why it's more role play based. It's basically giving you a boost. Um, yeah. It's you know Bannerman's banner as it used to be called. Um, it it's just like you're great. You're feeling great. You can't mechanically give that an effect. No. You just feel good. Yeah. Um. So if I was to say anything, um. There's a few potions that I can understand why they have mechanical effects and their role play effects. Um, mainly because they give you a bit more understanding on how you should role play or the reason why you're role playing that bit. Um, but yeah. Okay. So, so what is your favourite then? Oh, my favourite potion. Mm. Um, legal potion. Okay. Um uh, Oh, no, in general. Uh, I love sovereigns, um, mainly because, yeah, I like the idea of bringing people back from yeah. abysmal places. Um, um, it's one of the very first things I decided to choose, um, and then from there, I just would prefer to make more sovereigns and mage blood, but that doesn't exactly happen. Mm. Um, in terms of my favorite illegal, it has to be Blackgate <laughs> because it's just funny again <laughs> just to see someone. Dumb. I don't know trying to figure out what the hell happened and they're not realizing, and then all of a sudden they drop down after thirty minutes. Um, is it is it properly dead dead or on or immediately on bleed count? I believe. Just double <laughs> have to double yeah. check. It's one of those that I don't use. Because uh... I mean, all all poisons have a cure, don't they? Yeah, um, and then also you got if you don't give the correct one as well, which is makes it a lot worse. Um, in so... fact, it's not the actual black gate that kills you it's the incorrect antidote that kills you right so if you take the incorrect antidote is that a 30 minute you're dead no uh, so uh black gate is it gives you weakness until it can be cured um you can't move basically it is like you're there um okay and then you get confused, you start aching, you're basically dying, but you're not dying. Um, and it's only when it, the 30 minute comes up, you have a seizure and die. Um, 
but it's if you have the incorrect antidote you die straight away um excellent yeah chris yeah. has just put that in at the end of 30 minutes you suffer an agonizing seizure and die so that's yeah. if so wrong antidote you're screwed yeah love it so you are counting on people knowing the recipe list and knowing the antidote for it very very highly um which is why Okay. Some people know it and some people just won't even look at the recipe list. Um, so is that... I heard... Sorry, go on. Uh, personally, I do have the list um, only because antidotes are important to me. Sorry. So is... With, with antidotes in it, is it... So if you give the wrong antidote for the wrong... Yeah. Is it across any potion, you'll kill them? Um, I think it's just for black gate. I'll just double check in. Uh, but if you... No, it is it is for all the ones that I'm looking at right now. Jesus. Um, which included a few other nasty ones. Many there are many um assassination potions and then uh no that's not bad. Do, 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 do. And the other one is just mainly for weapon use. So, yeah. so you, but I I assume if it doesn't get given, then it you kill the person basically. Yeah, Chris has just put in any wrong potions and wrong antidotes equals death. Yeah. If the wrong antidote is used, the target will die. An antidote must be brewed and then applied within fifteen minutes. Usually, the apothecary who brews it is responsible for treating the victims of the victim of poisoning okay that's i mean i was not aware of that um, it also happens to be the person who makes it is also the property as well yeah so i, I suppose if you make an, a good way to do it then if you wanted to assassinate someone it would be to give a poison make deliberately the wrong antidote and wait so when per someone comes along to treat them and they're there going, yeah, take this, you'll need to take this, this. Oh, I think I've got one in my bag. You replace what you give, you, you swap the antidotes out. They give them the wrong antidote and they kill them. That way they're buggered and you've got away with it. Yeah, I suppose, but then it would be a case of, does the person who gave the antidote know the recipes in the first place? And then they'll be questioning who knows it and yeah. It's, it's fun investigations. Yeah. Oh, I like I like, I like this. <laughs> oh, I might have to buy a point in uh, apothecary now just to do pick the really horrible ones. Um, a character with the apothecary skill who is not sure about a potion can ask a ref if they recognise it as one of the ones they know how to make. Apothecaries have no special ability to recognise potions they cannot make. Okay. Ooh. I think it's a case of like if you're not sure, you don't use it. Um, but it's the case of if you recognise it and you say it's the wrong thing anyway. Um, I think you can still get away with murder. Yeah, I like getting away with murder. It's a hobby. Um, make black gate in the correct antidote and ask someone if they want to play a game. You have 30 minutes to solve, get to, etc. Oh, that's brutal, but that's quite a fun thing to do. I think the militia should incorporate that into their game. Take this poison, you've got half an hour to go and do this. If you don't do it, you take, well, it might be the antidote, it might not be. Brutal. Love it. Um... My favourite poison is watery grave poison as someone would have to roleplay explosive diarrhea. Oh my god. So in, in your in your in your eyes at the moment then, where in five years time, where would you like to see the Apothecaries Guild? Recognised just as much as Conclave, the Senate, um anywhere that's big, um and obviously helping 
a bit more within the nations and seeing what we can make. Um, mm. Obviously, we would like to have the idea that we have a big workshop, uh, that we have loads of pocket feet to stand in there, tending to cauldrons and and then a front of the shop um, to sell the stuff. But uh, obviously, yeah. that's a lot further down the line um but because we have to be recognized first and then we'll see from there and yeah. see how it goes that'd be cool so how many members of the guild have you got at the moment roughly um too many to count That's uh, give me wait uh i will double check because you know <laughs> Pete's also said he wouldn't have to role play that poison after a Domino's pizza. Oh. So. <laughs> um, hold on. Uh, we have 253 members. Ouch. That's a lot. Yeah. That's really good. And obviously, there's some people in that number who either don't play Pocket Thea anymore or they're not in the game anymore. Um, the yeah. characters, the characters gone in some shape or form. But in terms of members on our Facebook group, uh, which if you come and join the guild, we'll happily accept you into the into the um, the Facebook group, so you know what's going on and everything else, prices yeah. that we give. Um, then um, obviously we'll have fun and games when on speaking on there chats and everything else that's really cool it's I, I i look forward to seeing what happens with the apothecary guild I, I have to admit it's one of the ones that it's like artisans guild is uh, artisans are dime a dozen there's so many of them in the field and that but i think the apothecaries one is something that it's it reminds me of um a little bit of the um uh what's the uh, the Unseen University, Terry Pratchett, and that a little bit. It's, it's it, you, you give me that, well, the Apothecary's Guild gives me that sort of vibe. Like, we're all doing this. Do you know what each other's doing? <laughs> no, but we're all here. <laughs> yeah, so we're, we're working towards more unity, uh, definitely, yeah. within the, in the Guild. Um, just because we, if we have an idea of who knows what, you know, we can get that information together and then we can work on it together. Yeah. Uh, rather than one person struggling on their own. Or, say, for example, you've got a person in a chapter house, for example, and they know a lot of recipes, but not all of them. Mm. Um, and they've been asked to make something that they have no idea how to make. Yeah. Um, that's what we're here for, to help. Yes. Uh, for apocalypses as well um, apocalypses also get discounts on herbs as well uh, from the apocalypse shop um, because we all know that we run out of certain herbs that we need and it's a pain in the backside to go around the field looking for people who have the herbs that you need without paying extra um, yeah. so we we are also selling and buying herbs as well so if, also if general people who have herbs who want to sell them will happily take them as well for a price that we have got set somewhere that I, I, I know what they are but I can't find a link at the moment I'll buy them too just saying I don't know what I'm going to do with them but I will buy them I think I'll give them to the Marches Bar for beer I have no use in this field whatsoever. <laughs> okay, that's really, really cool. Um, right, so I'll, I'm probably going to call it there, I think. Um, so, because this, this has been really good. I hope this has been more enjoyable for you this time round, with just you being on than having everyone on beforehand. The questions have been really good. I, I love all the questions. Um, I'm able to be contacted at any time. So if you have any questions, just pop it in the Discord, or yeah, um, definitely, you know, uh, or try and find the Apocalypse Guild, and I'll add you, and we you can talk to any of the members there as well. 
I will put the link to the Apothecary Guild Facebook group in the official PD places. Uh, so it'll all be uh, in there. So I can get, I'll get that sorted for you. But yeah, any questions or anything like that, then yeah, go for it. It's uh, um, awesome stream. Thank you, Artemis. Thank you, Steve. I know a lot has been going on, but thought I'd ask. Um, is there an update on the seven days server? Uh, I'm still sorting that one out um as as yeah as a side so um yeah just watch this space on that one then um thank you so much for coming on thank you definitely thank you because um i only asked this morning about this stream because i had completely i've i, I had the second jab on saturday i have been elsewhere in my mind um so yeah. thank you so much for doing this it's um, okay. I was off from work anyway this week. She was so bored. <laughs> she agreed to come on. <laughs> so I'm, just, I'm just packing up my uh, rent place at the moment. Yes. So we're moving. Uh, yes. So as you can see, the lovely box behind me, or maybe not, but. Yeah. So Art Artemis is currently moving home. So, uh, but thank you so much for coming on. Closer. Closer to Empire, believe it or not. The Ooh. Even closer. Um, so we're currently in Newmarket, um, but we'll be moving closer. Um, or oh, less of a drive for me, because I'm, I'm the driver. Yeah, um, that's really cool. And then way too far away from my other uh, one, but that's fine, because by the time I do that, I'm going to see my family anyway. So I can get <laughs> That's fantastic. Well... Thank you everyone for coming along to watch. Uh, thank you, Artemis, again for coming on to chat, um, educate, especially uh, about everything. Because, as as again, I keep on saying about these streams, I don't know half the stuff. So it's really nice to learn all of these things. Um, yeah, there's another stream on Wednesday. Oh, it's doing something. I've forgotten, but um, yeah, we'll get that sorted. So yeah, feel free join the Discord. Get involved in the conversations. Um, I'll be getting the raffle that we're doing sorted. We'll get some wonderful prizes away. Uh, we'll get something really nice for Matt P as well because he deserves it. Um, so, yeah, come and be a part of the community. Hefty fam and all of that stuff. So, yeah, thank you everyone uh, for being involved, being here. Uh, take care. Have a good evening. Much love to you all. And um, we met, we didn't see any of the leopard at all either, so never mind. I, I do apologise. Next time. As I say, she doesn't come on command, unfortunately. No, I wish she time. did. Next time. She does normally, but she's a bit camera shy, I think. I am an intimidating person. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Anyway. See you she'll, soon. Probably come in, she'll probably come in as soon as this oh stream, probably oh yeah more than likely more than likely that's the effect i have on people but still everyone take care see you all soon much love Bye. Bye.